Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CCUS or carbon capture, utilization and storage. And today's video is about process of CO2 trapping mechanism. Okay, so we have the picture here. We have injection well from which we will inject the CO2. And we can also have the observation well, all right, to monitor whether or not there is an CO2 leak flow, all right, from the reservoir to, let's say, due to some leakage, go to another zone, then we can confirm using this observation well. Okay, and you can see also the permeable rocks or the reservoir. Here we have the reservoir to which we will store the CO2. And we also have another permeable rock at which we drill or we locate our observation well. And of course we have impermeable rocks, all right, here, the gray zone, denoting impermeable rock, for example, shell zone, okay? And we can check in number one, we have injection, CO2 injection in this well bore from the injection well. And then we have CO2 migration. You can see the flow of CO2 plume here, all right? From the well bore, from the perforation, and then it migrates the CO2 plume. And then at number three, we have artificial reservoir. Actually, it's not necessarily artificial. It can be depleted reservoir, right? Not necessarily artificial because there is no such thing as artificial reservoir. Reservoir will be natural, but we can make it like artificial because we want to use it for storage. Okay, so it's just a term issue. Let's call it just reservoir. Depleted reservoir, depleted oil reservoir, or depleted gas reservoir at which we will store the CO2. And then at number four, you can see dissolving in stratified water. Okay, so below the oil zone or below the depleted gas zone, we can have water zone, all right? Or in this picture, we call it stratified water or maybe bottom water or maybe aquifer. In that water zone, the CO2 can dissolve. The CO2 will be dissolved and it will trap some of the CO2. And at number five, we have gravity flow due to, yes, gravity. The CO2 will flow, some of the CO2 will flow downward due to gravity effect. And at number six here and there, we can have crystallization or mineralization. Okay, so in other video, I will talk about the reaction that will involve the CO2. First, the dissolution reaction. The CO2 will react with water and then the weak carbonic acid will disintegrate to ion H positive and then also bicarbonate, okay, in dissolution process. And after that, the bicarbonate will contact with positive cation from the minerals and it will form solid. It will form minerals. That's why we call it mineralization or we can also call it crystallization. And the crystallization, it will trap the CO2 permanently because it will change the supercritical CO2 to be minerals that will be deposited on the rock surface. And it will, of course, again, it will trap the CO2 permanently within the reservoir zone. Okay, so that's quite simple. That's quite short. I hope you understand. Again, we have injection well. We can have observation well to detect whether or not there is CO2 leakage that will come into this observation zone. And at number one, we have CO2 injection, CO2 migration, upward flow. And then we have here the reservoir. We have CO2 dissolution in the stratified water. We have downward flow due to gravity effect and we have crystallization process, all right?
all of these steps will trap the CO2 permanently or maybe temporarily due to leakage maybe, but we expect it to be permanent within this reservoir. All right, that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next carbon capture and sequestration videos. Thank you.